Did you know that the average American consumes 870 calories per breakfast meal? Now that's considering what they eat, which is breakfast burritos, McDonald's breakfast burgers, and all kinds of nasty junk. And did you also know that in order to maintain a healthy diet and a weight loss diet, it is recommended that the average person consumes only 350 to 400 calories per meal. Isn't that a mind blower? On this channel, we specialize in bringing the most value to you in terms of fitness, health, and personal development. So if you're new here, or if you're just stopping by, please consider subscribing. On this video, we're gonna discuss with you what we eat every single morning to have our workouts packed with power, endurance, and also genes. We will also share with you and show you the nutritional values and contents that these foods contain so that you have a better idea on what you're putting into your body versus what we recommend you putting into your body. So by the end of the video, you guys, you're gonna be shown step by step on how to cook one of these healthy, nutritious breakfasts so you do not have to worry about searching on the internet, looking at other diet tips so you can start off 2021 with the healthiest you can be. Now let's get started. Yeah! First of all, we're gonna go over the list of items that you're gonna need to cook this awesome meal. What we have here is a regular frying pan, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cook our egg whites on here, okay? There's another pan, which is a flat pan, where we're gonna cook our turkey bacon. This is so delicious, you guys. Turkey bacon is where it's at. And further on, this is the little small bowl that we use for one cup of oatmeal that we're gonna be cooking in here. And we're gonna need one cup, measuring cup, okay? It says one cup there. And this is it, you guys, this is all the tools that you're gonna be needing for this meal to come to fruition and for you to enjoy it. So now let's discuss about what we're gonna be making today. First off, let's talk about our carbohydrates. Now, when we're talking about carbs, we're talking about the best quality carbohydrates there is. And in this case, for our breakfast, what we've been using for the past five months during our prep is Quaker Oats Quick Oats, okay? If you look at this, all right, it's 150 calories per serving, okay? Serving size that's suggested per day is gonna be one cup, all right? And this is what you're gonna get when you're having those awesome, high energy, high intensity workouts because it's gonna be fueled up by this right here. Since we're on the topic of uh, high quality, nutritious food, this is the eggs that we're using every day. This is a uh, omega-3 egg, it's organic, grade double A, large brown egg. You can get, you can pick this up at your local Walmart, Okay, they're just egg whites so you don't have to crack uh, your regular eggs and waste the yolk and you know, start off the year by wasting a whole bunch of money. We don't want that, okay? And our other source of protein that we uh, eat during the mornings to ensure that we have a powerful packed workout is gonna be turkey bacon. And there's only 30 calories per slice, okay? Versus your traditional bacon, which is at least 160 calories per slice of bacon. And that's not including the grease and all the fat that goes along with that too, okay? Also, we're gonna be putting in half a cup of blueberries. Now, I'm sure you guys have been reading a lot about, or if you know about, berries. Berries is an essential food for our brain. Back in the days, they used to call this brain berries. So we've incorporated these in our morning breakfast, and we have noticed astronomical results from them. Okay, and it's being passed down to our children as well. So we wanna make sure they get that health benefit also. Okay, also, this is also for preference. This is a a sweetener that we put into our oatmeal, one pack only, uh, and it helps us digest the food early in the morning because we know, and some of you may also know when you eat this, it's really bland. So we're gonna add the blueberries to keep it fruity and also a little bit of sweetener so that we can keep coming back every day and it doesn't get, you know, really bland and boring. All right, so these right here, you guys, are the typical ingredients and tools that we use to cook our everyday meal. So now let's talk about the different type of eaters. There's typically two eaters. There's an under eater and there's an over eater. For me personally and for my family, we're usually hanging around the under eater status. So that typically means before when we woke up, we would wake up, drink our coffee, okay, our energy drink, wait until about midday, which is 12 or one, until we have our first meal, you guys. I know this might hit some of you guys that are doing this right now. That's a big no-no when it comes to having a good, nutritious, diet and a foundational program in terms of your diet that you can follow with and make success from, okay? So, let's switch that around. Let's make us an, an eater, but a healthy eater. Let's create these habits that are gonna bring 2021 a much better, brighter, and healthier 
version of ourselves. Let's get started with the cooking. Wanna start off with one or two cups of water to boil, just like that, okay? Turn your heat on to high, and we'll just let that sit until it boils. Meanwhile, and we'll set up our, our pan for our eggs here. We like to use organic spray, pan spray. So we'll cook the egg first, we'll light and spray this, right? Turn on the light, get it wet like that. Okay, turn the heat on. Let this heat up. We're gonna grab one egg, like that. Let it heat up a little bit. And we'll crack it, like that. We're gonna measure one whole cup of egg whites. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and get our oatmeal, which is also one cup. And we're gonna go ahead and place it into the bowl, like that. The bacon, we're gonna go ahead and set it up. Put it back, turn it on. We do not need any oil for this because it already has some oil on here already, though it is limited, but we do get some residual oil in here. We're gonna turn this down, it's almost boiling. We're also gonna turn egg whites down. We're gonna get our spatula here for the eggs, right? And just kinda let it finish cooking like that, okay? And then the boiling water, we're gonna grab it and be very careful because this is very hot. You're gonna pour it into your oatmeal just like that, okay? And depending upon what type of uh, oatmeal you like, some people like it mushy, some people like it watery. It's gonna be based on personal preference, okay? So we like it a little bit watery. And you stir it just like that. And just wait for it to cook. Should be hot, yep. And we're gonna put the bacon on. So we'll just cook on. Ooh. Oh, no good already. You can see it's coming in nicely. You can smell it. Go ahead and finish cooking these. Oh yeah. Doesn't that look delicious here guys? Okay. I'm gonna let that keep cooking. Then we need to get our yes. Okay, this one I'm gonna turn it down below because it's almost cooked and we only use um, Himalayan salt for our stuff so we're just going to crack about a teaspoon in there then we're going to use some pepper okay. like that and I'm going to also turn that low we're going to flip this one more time okay you see that color that's when you know it's almost about to be done okay and depend upon how salty you guys, you don't want too much sodium, but I like to have a little bit of flavor on mine. Our eggs are gonna be done here, so we just get our serving plate ready. And we'll make sure to turn this off. All right, Good job, you guys. Piece of bacon, just about done. All right, let's make sure to turn this off. Okay, and let's go ahead and bring it over here. And let's take a look at our oatmeal, which looks like it's pretty cooked here. Okay, look at that. You see that consistency? This is how uh, I actually like to eat mine. And uh, we want to introduce some sort of sweetener. And like our program, we don't like sugar at all. We don't tolerate sugar, uh, only when we have our cheat meals. But we know this diet and this food is hard to ingest in the beginning. But to kind of alleviate the pain of the dryness and the staleness and the boringness of the food, we recommend you using one pack per cup of oatmeal and just kind of sprinkle it on there. See that, you see? And it gives you a little bit of, it takes the edge off of eating it, okay? Just kind of you know, mix it up a little bit and it's sweet for you so that, you know, when we're weaning off and we're trying to eat healthier, you know, we're also combating our old habits. We're so used to having stuff that's packed with sugar, packed with sodium, when we start to try to rectify the problem and move to something healthier, our mind's always playing games on us and don't want us to eat. So this is gonna help us a lot. Plus, we have an added bonus, an added bonus of brain berries, you guys. So we're gonna put a half a cup of blueberries in here, and we're just gonna put it on like that, you guys, okay? 
and we're gonna mix it up just like that. This is it, you guys. This is our meal for the morning. If you'll excuse me, I gotta get to eating. So we're gonna be doing more of these, you guys. We're gonna bring in more value in terms of nutrition tips. So please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're coming out with more. This is only one compilation of what you should eat during 2021 for a healthier and fit lifestyle. All right, let's see how this is tasting. Let's get a little bit of the omega-3 egg. Mmm, so good, you guys. You can taste the Himalayan salt, the nice fresh crack with peppers on it, and also the texture, you guys. It's not overcooked. It's not undercooked. It's just the right type of texture for heaven in your mouth. Mm. I can't wait for you guys to try this. Please try this recipe at home. Let me know in the comment section how you like it. And if you have any questions, any questions pertaining to this meal or any other health tips, please don't forget to hit me in the comment section and let me know. And we'll do the best we can to get right back to you. Now let's taste the oatmeal. Mmm. Real good. I can always taste the blueberries crushing in my mouth. The sweet tart is hitting my taste buds. Also, you can really taste the stevia, the, the, the sweetener that we put in there. And it was only one packet, but it was enough to get me to be interested in the meal. So that this can be a longevity meal plan. We can eat this every day and get massive. Yay!